Hello friends, this video on linear equations in one variable part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 11. Hassan buys two kinds of cloth materials for school uniforms. Shirt material that costs in rupees 50 per meter and trouser material that costs in rupees 90 per meter. For every 2 meters of the trouser material, he buys 3 meters of the shirt material. He sells the materials at 12% and 10% profit respectively. His total sale is Rs. 36,660. How much trouser material did he buy? So now here let us first assume that how much trouser material and how much shirt material did Hassan buy. Now observe this sentence. For every 2 meters of trouser material, he buys 3 meters of shirt material. So this basically says that if he buys 3 meters of shirt, he would have bought 2 meters of trouser. If he had bought say 9 meters of shirt, then he would have bought 6 meters of trouser. So basically the ratio of trouser to shirt will always remain 2 is to 3. So see this is another way of telling that the ratio of the trouser material to the ratio of the shirt material is 2 is to 3. So these are some important things which you need to you know uh, read well and understand to go ahead with the question. So with this we can now assume that let us say that the amount of trouser material is equal to 2x. Then the amount of shirt material would be 3x. So this is our assumption. Now with this assumption let us calculate what would be the cost price for Hassan that is for how much cost he would have bought the shirt the shirt as well as the trouser material. Now when he went to buy it costed him rupees 50 per meter for the shirt material and for the trouser material it costed him rupees 90 per meter. So cost for trouser so for the trouser material his cost price was for 1 meter it was 90 rupees so that means for 2x meters it would be 2x into 90 similarly the cost that he had to pay for the entire shirt material will be 3x into rupees 50 so this is 180x and this is 150x so this is his total cost. Now let us also try to calculate the total cost. So what, what is the total amount which he had to pay in order to buy all this? That was nothing but 80x plus 150x. So this was his total cost when he went to the market to buy these. Now, what he did, once he bought this, he sold these items. Now, how did he sell? He sold the materials at 12% and 10% profit respectively. That means on the trouser, he kept a profit of 12%. So, for the trouser, the profit was 12%. That means whatever was the cost for trouser, on that cost, he added 12%. So basically let's say if the cost of the trouser was 180x then what he did was he added 12% on that 180x. So 12% into the cost. So basically for trouser it came out to be 180x plus 12% that is 12 by 100 of 180x. So this was the price at which the trouser was sold by him. So please understand this question. It might be a little complicated. Let's say that this is Hassan. So first Hassan bought the trouser and the shirt material and then he sold them. So when he bought it, he bought it at a cost of 180x for trouser and 150x for shirt. So this was the price with which Hassan bought them. Now when it is his turn to sell them, obviously he will make some profit for himself. So he kept a profit of 12% on the trousers. So that means what would be the cost for which it was so it, it was purchased by somebody from Hassan or we can say what is the selling price for the trouser for Hassan it would be 180x plus 12 percent of 180x right now in a similar way 
we can say for the shirt material what would it be the cost of the shirt material that is 150x plus 10% of 150x so that would be for the shirt material now when you add these two that means the price the selling price of the trouser plus the selling price of the shirt then it should be equal to his total sale and in the question it is given as 36660 that means this if if let us call this as equation as expression 1 let us call this as expression 2 so if we add 1 and 2 this should give us 36660 so i hope you have been able to understand this so this is the end, this is the total selling price for the trousers this is the total selling price for the shirt so trouser plus shirt all together should give his total sale and his total sale is given as 36660 so this part of the question is more critical because once you are able to write down the linear equation after that solving the linear equation is not a great deal once you have understood how to solve them but forming the linear equation is very very important in these kind of questions so therefore we will write it as 180x plus 12 percent of 180x plus 150x plus 10 percent of 150x so this is the total sale. So this total sale is 180x plus 12 by 100 into 180x plus 150x plus 10 by 100 into 150x. So this total sale, we will equate this to the value which is given in the question. So let us first simplify this so that our calculations become easier. So this would be equal to 180x plus 108 divided by 5. That's because this 0, this 0 will cancel. 2, 6, 12, 2, 5, so 10. So this is 108 by 5 plus x plus 150x plus this 0, 0, 0 will cancel. So this will be 15x. So this entire thing would be equal to 180x plus 108 by 5. So what would be this value? This value would be 201.6x plus 150 plus 15 that is 165x. Or we can say this entire value will come out to be 366 0.6x and as per question this is equal to 36660 so from this we can calculate the value of x as 36660 divided by 366.6 so this comes out to be 100 so therefore the value of x comes out to be 100 so how much was the trouser material so the trouser material was 2x therefore 2 into 100 which is equal to 200 meters and what about the shirt material the shirt material was 3x so that is 3 into 100 which is equal to 300 meters therefore he purchased 200 meters of the trouser material and 300 meters of the shirt material Question number 12, the denominator of a rational number is greater than its numerator by 8. If the number is increased by 17 and the denominator is decreased by 1, the number obtained is 3 by 2. Find the rational number. So any rational number contains a numerator and the denominator. So let us say that the numerator is equal to x. So if the numerator is x, the denominator is greater than the numerator by 8. So therefore the denominator would be equal to x plus 8 because it is greater than the numerator. So this is, so what should be my rational number? So my rational number would be x divided by x plus 8. So that is my rational number. So the rational number that we are trying to find basically is this x by x plus 8. So for that we need to find the value of x. 
In this question, it says that if the numerator is increased by 17, that means if the numerator becomes x plus 17, and if the denominator is decreased by 1, that is the denominator becomes x plus 8 minus 1. In that case, the number that we get is this as per our assumption. But as per the question, that number that we should get is 3 by 2. So now what do we get? We get a linear equation. So let us try to solve this. So this is in the form of numerator by denominator equals numerator by denominator. So we would cross multiply. So this would be 2 into x plus 17 is equal to 3 into x plus 7. So therefore 2x plus 34 is equal to 3x plus 21. Or we can say that 2x minus 3x is equal to 21 minus 34. Or we can say minus x is equal to minus 13. So minus minus will get cancelled. Therefore x is equal to 13. Therefore the rational number would be equal to x that is 13 divided by 13 plus 8. So this would be equal to 13 divided by 21. So this is our rational number. So with this, we have reached towards the end of this lesson on linear equations in one variable. And I hope that you would have understood how to solve different types of linear equations. You, it is also very important to understand why are we learning this linear equations? How are these linear equations going to help us in our real life? In terms of the problem, some questions, there it is very important to understand the questions very clearly and forming the right linear equation. So I hope you would practice more and more questions and this lesson uh, on exam fear would have been able to help you. So see you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.